it shouldn't even be there anymore. Well, I was doing some sort of research and that popped mm -hmm. up and so I clicked on it and the agents, Rob was at the tip top and then all the agents yeah. were listed alphabetically. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how it was. Okay, yeah, I'll take I'll take an A. Uh, my name is A. Josh. Yeah, but you're not there anymore. So what? I gotta look into that and see where it's at, why it's still popping up. Corporate hates me. Corporate thinks I'm the worst agent in the world. Probably. They probably just deleted me. They're like, we don't want no, to be associated with this guy. On there too. That's all. They're, they're Okay, so it's recording. I really hope it's not doing still frames. Let me check, make sure it's not doing still frames. Hold on one second. We're doing video on my GoPro that my movers told me I misplaced. On my GoPro, it would tell me what mode I was in, as I spoke about yesterday. The Yee Light doesn't do that, but the Yee Light's an $80 camera and the GoPro is a $250 camera. So there's a big difference. So heading to a photo shoot right now, I'm gonna do a video on that. I forgot my Joby uh, setup for the camera. So I've gotta quit forgetting that. I love this little setup. It's so simple, so easy. I love it, but I, I can't, it doesn't let me do the Facebook Live like my Joby setup does. So I'll have to quit forgetting that because this is the second appointment this week that I could have done a Facebook Live with you guys on. But uh, I just don't have my setup to hold both cameras correctly. So, okay, today negotiating TRR. Um, I understand that Everyone has different opinions, and you have to understand that in this business, because a material defect that detracts from the value of the property, you think would be pretty straightforward. It's not always straightforward. So, uh, dealing with what I feel is a seller that may have some greed issues, um, because their response to the buyer's TRR, we're helping the buyer on this file, is off base, just completely off base from my perspective of the file. Everyone's frame on anything has to do with their upbringing, their, their life, you know, what's taking place in their life, their current belief system, things like that. But sometimes responses to offers, counter offers, TRRs, they just blow me away, blow me away. So um, working on that right now, trying to get that figured out. Heading to photo shoot right now, beautiful, beautiful home in Yukon, great neighborhood. I believe the neighborhood has a splash pad, we'll tour the neighborhood after we do the photo shoot and the walkthrough on it and see how it is. I've got two sunglasses right here. I'm squinting because it's so bright out. Uh, and I have two sunglasses right here that I could put on. Okay, there, that's better. Oh my gosh, I was having to squint. It's so bright in these cars. Uh, licenses and, and rear windows and everything is bright too. The photographer could have shot the house earlier this morning, but I, I'm, I'm stacked out right now, I'm so booked. Uh, one of our clients got a house under contract last night, Tracy, Paula, the listing agent, uh, everyone working out with the paperwork, getting that put together. Um, super helpful, super thankful for that. Uh, yeah, God's just really blessing us right now, guys. Um, I want to figure out more ways to help my wife during the day. You know, raising two kids, that's no joke. That's a lot of hard work. Um, this morning, I was like, hey, babe, you know, sleep in till 10. You know, that's the best I could do because I had afternoon appointments. And tomorrow, I've got appointments at the old house. I'm getting the carpets cleaned, I'm getting the lawn done, and I'm taking a load of stuff to the dump. So tomorrow, I'm booked out on the old house. Man, there's a brand new Cadillac. I'm not a materialistic guy. Like, I drive a 2014 Mazda 3. My wife's got a 2011 Subaru Outback. Like, we're not materialistic guys, uh, people. But, uh, man, sometimes these new cars just look slick. And this Cadillac here in front of me, it just, 
it just looks slick. Uh, I don't have the camera set up where I can flip it around and show you real quick, but let me see if I can get a shot of it as I pass it. Yeah, let me pass it. Yeah, you guys are gonna be able to see this. Take a look at that thing. How about that car, huh? That's a slick looking car. As soon as we get the old house sold, we're going to put a privacy fence up at the new house and pay off the credit card and then reassess all of our bills. Right now, I don't own the Mazda 3 outright. I have like nine on it, I think. And I, I and I told my wife, maybe we should fix up the Malibu because I'm paying $235 a month for the Mazda 3. If I'm going to be paying on anything, I should get bids to get the Malibu fixed up and just drive it around. It's a now this car gets 36 miles to the gallon. That's the best thing about the Mazda 3, and it's reliable. It's reliable, but 36 miles a gallon for a real estate agent is amazing. I drive everywhere, everywhere. So I've got to figure out how to at least get 26 miles to the gallon, 25, 26 miles to the gallon with the Malibu. Now there's engines that can do that, that I can put in that thing. I've just got to do the research to get it done. And of course, I don't have the time to do the work. I'm busy running the real estate business. So I've got to get bids on everything to find out how much it costs. Then we, I'm going to apply for a personal loan for all those bids, get the work done, get that thing up and running, and then just sell the Mazda 3. And then we'll be down to two cars. We're also going to sell the truck. Once we get rid of the old place, I've got a, you guys have seen it, that 86 Ford uh, F-250. I had it because we have got we had the farm. We had the four acres. I needed to haul tractors and stuff to it. Now that we've moved, now that we've downsized, I don't need to do that any longer. So we're going to sell the truck too. But um, yeah, guys, that's it. I uh, hope you're enjoying today's video so far. If you have any real estate questions, put them in the comments below. I'd love to answer those for you. And I'll see you guys at the photo shoot. I'll talk to you soon. Josh Barta, Better Homes Guard Real Estate Paramount, Oklahoma's listing agent. If you've got a home or land to sell, give me a call. 405-315-7965. Have a great day. Hey everybody, it's Josh, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate, coming at you. Wanted to show you this new listing that's available on the market. If you've got an agent that's helping you look for a new home right now, have them give me a call so they can come take a look at this one. Beautiful three bed home in the Yukon area that's been upgraded flooring throughout. The size of this kitchen is huge. Come on, let's go take a look at it. Look at this dining room, guys. Isn't that dining room just amazing? And then come over here and take a look at this kitchen. Look at all that space. You've got so much countertops. And look at that giant pantry over there. Folks, this is not a house you're gonna wanna miss if you're in the market for a new home. Come on and take a look at these bedrooms with me. Look at this utility room. Look at that. You've got room to fold your clothes there. And check out this bathroom over here. So much space. Guys, this house is just built perfectly. Just look at the size of that master right there. You could have five beds in there if you wanted. That master's huge. And then look at the calming paint scheme in this bedroom. And look at this, how big this bedroom is. It's big enough for two beds. Folks, Josh Bardet, Better Hopes of Garden Real Estate Paramount. If you're in the market for a three bed, two bath home in Yukon with a two car garage that's all brick and it's only 10 years old, give me a call, 405-315-7965. I'd love to show you this house and help these sellers get their homes sold. All right, guys, give it a big thumbs up. Share with all your friends that are in the market, and you have a wonderful day. Bye. Way dropping off the title company. Got a call about someone wanting to sell some land, so we're going to go swing by that land real quick. God, it's 509. Um, golly, it's off. The land is in a very busy part of the city and it's five o'clock traffic right now um, i need to go look at it because i'm booked out the rest of the week tomorrow i'm going to be at the old house meeting the carpet cleaners doing lawn work 
mow trim, stuff like that. And I've got to take the truck to the dump in Prague because the dumping cushions never open. And yeah, I've got to go look at that land right now. So I'm going to call the missus, see if she wants me to order some takeout for her. Uh, she should have responded to my text and take it from there. All right, we're going to go look at the land. I'll see you guys when we get there. And we'll just, we're just seeing what's around it. You know, we, we know how to value land. Like land is easy if it's in a neighborhood. 20% of the average house sold. That's what land is if it's in a neighborhood. If it's not in a neighborhood, then we just pull acreages in that vicinity and see what they're selling for. To me, from the tax records, it looks like it's in a neighborhood, so it should be pretty easy. I just gotta take a look at the houses to get a, to just, to just be there, to just see them. Okay, I will see you guys when we get to the land. I'm getting in some traffic, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, so uh, the land's down private drive and there's a really fancy house built right in front of it and it looks like it's all wooded like I wouldn't even be able to walk it so um, I drove the neighborhood <clears throat> the house they built back there looks spectacular um, looks way overbuilt for the neighborhood uh, and they said they've got it under contract so good good on them um, yeah, I'll just pull the county assessor's prices for the houses in the neighborhood. And then I'll take 20% of that average. And to me, that's what the land will be worth. So, I don't think it's going to be what they're expecting. Um, county has the land valued at... $5,000. Ah, here we go. County has a land value of $37,000. Let's say all the houses in there are $150,000 houses. <clears throat> County's about right on land value. So it would take someone special to want to buy it uh, if they're wanting more than thirty or 50000 bucks. I mean, six acres is nice, but houses around it they're they're just regular houses so we're gonna go take care of the old home I'm gonna go feed the dogs and stuff and I still got to check with the missus and see if she wants me to have some takeout delivered okay guys I'll see you on the next clip bye Is that lot fully wooded? No, it's mainly open. Oh, I I thought I was driving down the correct road. Did you build a brand new home in front of it? There on the left, that brand new home, that was on that. Okay. And then on if you would hit you would where the little rope thing is with the two posts. I don't know if you... I'm going to turn around real quick because I thought okay. it was down that road where that brand new home was and I, I just turned around. I was like, I don't... Yeah, think it, I it is. Oh, it is? Yeah, his... My my mom and dad... Well, it's my mom now. She owns... Let me turn that TV down. She has a house at the end of that road on the right. And we just... Well, we had... Supposedly we're closing on the 28th. Nothing falls through. Okay, so no then, one, it says private drive. There's not anyone who's going to, like, bring their shotgun out or anything on me, is there? Well, did you go down the, are you going down the asphalt road? Yes. Yeah, back out of there. Okay, okay. Back out of there. And continue straight down just the road between him and the houses on the right. Oh, okay, okay. I, yeah, uh, that is his private drive. Yeah, I don't want to upset anybody. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Well, thank you for that clarification. I will drive yeah. down there. Um, you know, 
there, there's all sorts of different ways to value land. Um, the bankers, uh, they usually just go by 20% of what houses in the area are selling for. So there looks like some nice houses being sold in this area. Uh, sort of. They, a lot of them look old. It's too. a mix. Yeah, a lot of them look old too. So I've just got to pull the cells in the area. I'll do a mile radius, and I'll be able to give you a better idea on what a banker would uh, give a give a construction loan on for the land value. And uh, okay. and that'll be about the best I could do in a situation like this when it's in a neighborhood. Okay. Yeah, behind um, if you went through uh -huh. uh, there, it's. And that was built, I didn't realize it, I think the late 90s. The houses look a little nice. You know, they look newer. Some of them may be a little newer than that. But um, that property backs up to probably some of those houses. I think they're all on acre, at least acre lots. But I could never find the home builder of those. You might have a better way of doing it. But um, those, are, those are a little bit nicer. Some... The few that I just picked on pulled up, and that's just Zillow. You know, they're like anywhere from high hundreds up to two. I think one was three hundred worth. You know, because of the square footage and blah blah blah. But yeah, it's a it's a all out in Forest Park, just a mixed. You know, mixed. Yeah, and, and if we're seeing 200s and 300s, like I said, the most a bank is going to loan on on the land itself is 20%. So, uh -huh. is there, do, have you guys ever approached the city on breaking up the land into more lots? Well, my at one point, um, when my parents first bought that, the, the, there was a lady down at the end of the street, and she owned all she owned all of the property mm -hmm. and so at one time that was all they it was all it was it was individual lots and when my dad bought it then he he you know of course didn't wasn't gonna develop so he did whatever he did and just put it all as one land um I'm out at the property now. It's a nice big over f open field. It looks like okay. part of that fix. Yeah, that's pinned. And I think the pin went down the fence line. We're kind of down the fence line. And that the lot that that house is to the east there is on like two point. I forgot what it. It's in that picture that I sent you. Did you get that picture? I did. I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Perfect. Well, I'm going to bring this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to look for that plat, and then I'll look at, uh, because if, if it's already, if it has a plat on it, and your dad just combined it into one, we may be able to get the CD to easily uncombine it, and then that would make it worth more, uh, especially if a builder wants to build in the area, and if you're saying it backs up to that other neighborhood, then of course, you know, that builder may be your very first uh, buyer for it. So that's probably about... You know, somewhere in that time is when they had all that development. Okay, okay. Well, that's yeah. good info. And uh, Oklahoma County has a real good index system, so we should, uh, that's online. So hopefully I'll be able uh -huh. to pull it up online. If I can, I'll shoot it over to a couple of builders that I know and see what they would pay for something like that. And then also I'll be able to tell you based on, you know, it is a big piece, it's worth this much. And then if you could do individual lots, I see it being worth this much because it's really value is really up to the bankers and what they'll loan on right. it when it comes to raw land. Yeah, right. right. Perfect. Well, I appreciate the call. Appreciate you letting me take a look at it. We'll definitely be talking yes. tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>